Professor Andrew Brunson is back in the United States after being held prisoner in Turkey for over two years. It's a major victory, and it provides yet another boost for this president uh, by showing that once again his tough tactics do work. Joining me now to discuss Tony Perkins, president of the Family Research Center. And Tony, uh, we should let the audience know that you you have been side by side with the Brunson family throughout all of this, and you were there. Uh, take us through this dramatic development from the courtroom scene to your trip back home. Well, thanks, Charles. Great to be with you, and thanks for uh, focusing on this, because you're absolutely right. It was the president's uh, tough negotiations, the tariffs, the sanctions that I think brought Turkey to this point of releasing Pastor Brunson. I was in Turkey last week in my capacity as a commissioner with the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom, and in the courtroom, uh, and, and I use that term courtroom uh, loosely because uh, I tell you, justice is not something I think they embrace in Turkey. But uh, it, it, I met with Pastor Brunson ahead of time, took uh, a note from the president, from the vice president to kind of encouraging uh, to encourage him because he was very fearful that he was going to be put back into prison. And uh, in the hearing on Friday after a day, the, the entire day, indictment read, Basically, the prosecutor saying, put him back in prison for 35 years. Panic swept across uh, many there in the audience. And then they recessed, came back. Turkey, obviously looking for a way out, uh, charged or convicted him on a lower uh, offense, for, gave him time served with, the, with about an additional year, but removed the house arrest and the travel ban. The government immediately went into action. Uh, and we were able to get a military flight lined up to get him out of the country within five hours of the hearing, and, and we arrived back on, on Saturday. So the president, vice president, secretary of state, the entire administration to be commended on, uh, on focusing on not leaving any American behind. And this America first foreign policy actually works. And uh, I, I'm, right. I'm looking forward to seeing other prisoners of conscience uh, that uh, are being held around the, around the world released as well, because this sends a message of, uh, of hope, I think, to the persecuted around the world. Tony, let me ask you about uh, here at home, uh, because we're going through a really tough uh, wave of incivility uh, that's actually being promoted by some, some very powerful people. Uh, uh, President Trump talked about the polarization here. I want you to take a listen to what he had to say and then get your comments on it. I think the economy is bringing people together. It was very polarized under President Obama, unbelievably polarized under President Obama. I can see the country uniting. I can see it. We have people, Democrats, who behaved horribly during the Judge Kavanaugh. You, you, you know what I'm saying. I know you're a religious man, and you're, I know you're an optimistic man. Do you share President Trump's optimism, though, despite what we've heard from major players in the political world in the last week, that we can reunite, sort of, so to speak, as a country? You know, Charles, I, think, I actually think it's the political class that's dividing America, not so much the American people. I think Saturday and what took place in the Oval Office with uh, Pastor Brunson praying for the president really united America. And I think it did because uh, the, 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 really the, uh, the, the haters were not out on social media slamming the president for a few moments. I think it did bring the nation together. But look, look we are a divided nation. Um, and, and we've been divided, but I, I do think that there are positive things happening under this administration. I, I don't necessarily think the economy is going to be the rally cry to unite us, but it certainly makes it easier when people can make a living, and that certainly is happening. Right. But I think this president's focus on, on, on freedom, religious freedom, and, and, and promoting that stability, that uh, stabilizing force in our culture by allowing people to live out their faith, historically that has been a uniter in this country. And, Yes, I am optimistic. I do hope that America can become right. a more unified nation. Tony Perkins, always a great talking to you, and congratulations. It was a wonderful uh, thing and a wonderful role that you played in, in a big, big news story, and we appreciate it. Blessings to you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Charles.